Big Blue Nation's official station is LEX 18. sure Trump is never again anywhere near the Oval Office. We want full and complete transparency for the American people. The message is that you've got to make it easier for passengers. We learned some hard lessons over the last three years. Good morning and welcome to Sunday today on this August 21st. I'm Willie Geist. This morning, there are concerns inside Ukraine and around the world about the fate of Europe's largest nuclear power plant, where fighting between Russian and Ukrainian forces risks a potential catastrophe. This week, marking six months since Vladimir Putin's military invaded Ukraine, with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky now saying Ukraine is returning thanks in part to mass invasion from the United States. We'll have the latest in a live report from Ukraine. Then our Sunday focus on a defining moment this week for the Republican Party, as Congresswoman Liz Cheney officially is run out of office for the sin of defying former President Trump. So what is the future of the party and the country if there is no room for a Republican named Cheney? Plus, our Sunday spotlight on the booming popularity of trade schools as a growing number of students choose the clear path to a job over an expensive four years of college. And later, a favorite Sunday sit down with the talented and hilarious Jane Krakowski on a career full of unforgettable performances from playing Cousin Vicky in Vacation to stealing scenes in Ally McBeal and 30 Rock and the job that changed her life. I sum this up as sort of kind of what the whole experience kind of felt like. We flew out coach and we flew back first class. There you go. <laughs> Warm, fresh cookies and all, which was a first for me. A Sunday sit down with Jane Krakowski, plus another life well lived, all a bit later in the show. But let's begin this morning in Ukraine, where that country's military is trying now to gain control of Russian held Crimea amid international concerns about a crisis at Europe's largest nuclear power plant. NBC's Josh Letterman is in central Ukraine with the latest. Josh, good morning. <laughs> 